strong. Hey everybody, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by again. If you are new here, my name is Kim and I'm bringing you HIIT workouts that you can do in the comfort of your own home. Today's workout is a full body strength training workout. We're gonna be supersetting our exercises, so that just means two exercises back to back, 40 seconds work for each, and then we'll take a 20 second recovery. I'll be using some dumbbells for today's workout. If you don't have dumbbells, go grab yourself two cans of soup, just so you have a little bit of added resistance. All right, get yourself all set up and let's get started, guys. You can call me stupid. Yes, you can call me sheep. Let's warm up that body. So start with your feet right underneath your hips. We're gonna inhale the arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, reach it forward. Get nice and long through that back. Straight through the legs, inhale, reach the back wall, stretching out the front of the body, and again, forward, and reach. Squeeze those glutes at the top, reach the fingertips. All right, bring the arms down, big circles for those arms. Let's warm up the shoulders. Four, three, two, we're just gonna switch directions, so back and forward. Great work. Three, two, and one, arms forward, back. Open up the chest, open up the back. Big inhale, pull that belly button in, get it ready to work. Four, three, two, and one. Reach one arm across the body, and back to center, other side. Good, alternating sides. Stretching out through our lats and our obliques. Last two. And one, let's go right into a squat. So feet are under our hips. It can be a little bit wider if you want, and toes can be out to the corner. We're gonna sit it back and squeeze our glutes at the top. Big breath. Great work, keep going down. And up, three more, three, two, and one. I'm gonna walk it out into an inchworm, so I'm at one end of my mat. I'm gonna walk my hands forward, come into a plank hold, bring it back, reach the arms up and back. Inhale down, get nice and long through that body, starting to activate the upper body and our core. Last one, hold, good. Bring it up, bring the arms down. We're just gonna swing one leg forward and back. Loosening up those hips. Three, two, and one. Let's do the other side. If you don't have a wall or a chair, you can balance on this. Maybe just don't make the swing as big. Last one. Oh, nice, inhale up. Exhale those hands behind your back, interlacing your fingers or just placing your hands on your low back. We're gonna open up that chest and look up. Oh, nice good stretch. And then take it forward. Pull your belly button in, drop that tailbone. All right, let's just do a couple of lunges forward. Forward and back. Okay, so we're gonna be going right into our first superset. I'm gonna show you the two exercises and then we're working. So I'm gonna grab my set of dumbbells. I'm gonna place them right at my shoulders for my first exercise. And we're gonna go into a squat and we're gonna push those arms up. Okay, so squat, press. Then we're gonna come down to the floor. We're gonna come in a crouching position with our hands forward. Then we come into a plank, push up, elbows to your side and back. It's going to be 40 seconds each. Grab those weights. Here we go. Squat. Push. Inhale. Press. Watch those knees. They stay right over the ankle, not the toes. Push those arms up. Breathe. Whew. We're working. Whew. 
drop the weight. Come on down, right into that crouching position, and right away, forward, press, and back. Press. You can do your push-ups on your knees. Okay, then come back up, push yourself back. Your choice. Crouch it back. Your core nice and strong. Bring it up. You got 20 second recovery. Then we're going to do that again. So catch your breath. Shake out those arms. Give it a little stretch if you like. Okay, so same thing. And again, when you're going into that squat, Hinge your hips, push your butt back. Make sure those knees are not going past your toes. Grab those dumbbells, you ready? Ooh, here we go. Down, push. Inhale, push. One more time, and you're gonna learn two new exercises. All right, grab those dumbbells. We got about 10 seconds. How's that feeling? You guys working? Let's grab those dumbbells. Feet under our hips. Here we go. Down, push, inhale, press. We got compound moves and superset. So this is challenging today. Whew. Inhale, exhale. Push those hips forward. 
inhale and exhale. Elbows to the side, working the flats and our rear delts, back of the shoulders, squeezing here, working the hamstrings and the glutes. Nice job. We're gonna come to the floor. So we're doing an alternating V up. And it looks like this, one leg up. Okay, you can follow along. If you can't come all the way up, you can do a knee in and stick with a crunch here. Pull the tummy in nice and strong. Alternate. recovery. So again, we're hinging, lat row. I'm going to go a little heavier with my dumbbells this time. If you got that option, you might want to go heavier with the lats. Feet underneath your hips. Straight back, tummy tight, guys. You ready? In three, two, one. Hinge it forward, straight back. Lateral row, rotate, press. So mini deadlift, half deadlift here. Squeeze. Doing great. We're almost there. Keep working. Nice job. Let's back, head back to the floor. Alternating VS or crunching. Your choice. Here we go. Here's that alternate modification. Knee in. Lift those shoulders off the mat. Press your low back into the floor. Nice job. All right, 20 seconds. We got one more round there. We're moving on. We're working hard today, guys. I know you can do this if you've got, like I said, heavier sets of dumbbells. You can grab those for this lat one. We got about five seconds. Get yourself in position, holding on to those weights. Strong through that upper back. Belly in, here we go. Lat row. Push. Nice. Squeeze the glute. Exercise. 
guys, we're going to go into a lateral squat. So we've got down into a squat, hammer curl, bring it up, and then we'll repeat on the other side. So catch your breath first. Again, when we're squatting, back goes back. We hinge at the hips, knees stay over the ankles. Here it is. Down. Pull those wrists up towards you. We're in a hammer curl, meaning wrists are pointing in towards each other. And for reference, I'm using 15 pound dumbbells on this one. And again, use what you have. Nice job. down to the floor. Bring your dumbbells. Right leg straight. You're going to push the arms up. Lower the legs down. And arms back to the side. Press. Lower the legs down. Keep the back pressing into the floor. Elbows tuck right into the side. You don't have to go so low with the feet. If you find that your hips are working too hard, or if your back is coming off the mat, you can even just do bend knees. So here I'm showing a modification, just a slight drop, just so that you can focus on working those lower abdominals. All right, let's do that again. Two more times. So 20 second recovery. Whew. We're sweating, at least I am. So again, side squat, back back, hammer curl, working the biceps. Compound movement, so two exercises in one. Getting the most out of our workout. Here we go, down, press up. Good. Breathe. Yes. Great job, guys. Come on out, we've got one more time through on that. Pick up those weights in 20 seconds. Every time I stand up, sweat starts stripping from my face, so I am working hard today. You're working hard today. Pick up those dumbbells. Okay, you guys ready to go? We can do this, one more set, here we go. Down, hammer curl, center. Push that butt behind you. This final week of the fitness challenge is gonna to be tough. So get prepared. Exhale, inhale.
great job. You've got another 20 second recovery. I'm lightening up on my weights for this next set. So I've got tens for this one. We're gonna go into a sumo squat. So feet are wide, toes out to the corner. We drop it down, come up, lateral raise. If you don't wanna do straight arms, you can do bent. And we're gonna go back to the floor and I'll show you that one when the time comes. Are you ready? Here we go. Take it down, push those knees back. Keep those legs nice and wide. Pull your belly button into the spine. Let's keep a strong core. Breathe. And exhale. Press. Yes. Inhale. Exhale. Hard workout today. I know. Good. All the way down. We're going to go skull pressure with bicycle legs. So legs at 90. The arms come down. One leg extends. Opposite side. We're locking our shoulders in place. Bending at the elbows. Working the back of the arms. Our triceps. Extend one leg. Keep your back pushed into the floor. the side. All right, so we're still doing a lateral shoulder raise, but we're just making the lever a little bit smaller, shorter. Exhale out. Press. Big breath. Nice job, back down to the floor, skull pressures, bicycle weights, here we go. So we only take enough time to get into position for the next exercise when we're supersetting. Back to back exercises. Last time on the floor. 
bring it up. All right, we're on to our last circuit. So we're gonna do a front lunge with a reverse squat, and we're gonna head to the floor, and I'll show you the second exercise when we're down there. So you step forward, okay? One arm opens, so the one that's close to your knee on the inside, then we step back. Make sure you're hinging forward, bringing that shoulder blade behind. You ready to work? Here we go. Down. Single arm reverse fly. Hinge it forward. And back. That tummy strong. Woo. Don't lose your balance like I just did. All right, come on down. We're gonna do some chest flies with a glute bridge. So we go open and shut. Press those hips up, open the arms to the side. Weights are right around chest level. Push your hips up, using the heel of your feet to drive them to the floor. We're working hamstrings, glutes, and our chest muscles. Squeeze here. Nice work, 20 second rest. We gotta do that two more times and we're done. Catch your breath. So I want you to keep a nice straight back and we come into that forward lunge and think about that shoulder blade trying to reach the other shoulder blade. Okay, the other hand is just right up on our hips. Give you a little stability. Are you ready to work? Here it is. Lunge, squeeze that shoulder blade back and down. Keep a slight bend in that elbow. Wrist point in.
push and drop those weights. We're gonna stretch it out. So staying here on the floor, let's just bring our knees into our chest. Get into that low back a little bit. Just rock it side to side. Good, I'm just gonna slide down slightly. We're gonna bring our knees so they're at tabletop and let's just bring them over to one side. Stretching out the back, stretching out the glutes. Keep those shoulders down on the floor. Just breathe, relax into this stretch. You guys worked so hard, I'm so proud of you. Good, let's bring those knees back to center. Pull the belly button in. Let's take it over to the other side. in your knee if you're a little tight in the hamstring that's fine and now let's pull the toe down towards us that's gonna get into that calf Good. bend that knee place your ankle on top of your opposite knee open up through that hip Grab those hands behind your left knee and then just pull those knees towards you. We want to get a little deeper into the glute muscles, the piriformis. And focus on taking nice deep breaths in and exhaling, releasing any tension you might be holding. Let's release that. We've got to do the other side. So extend one leg out towards the ceiling. Pull the toe down towards your heel up. And let's cross that knee. Come into the glute stretch on the other side. one leg behind. We're going to get into the hip flexors and this is also going to get into our quads. So here what I'd like you to do is take your hands over to one side and you're going to push that hip forward, squeeze your glutes. My whole world has changed. Baby, since you, you came around. Yeah, bring it center. Before we switch, just come and take your hands up behind you. You don't have to come to your elbows. You can just place your hands behind you. And push that hip up now. So I want to get a little deeper into that big quad muscle that we just worked so hard. Pull your tummy in. Ooh, that feels so good. And let's lift it up. Just got to do the other side. So again, we're starting with pushing our hips forward. We're taking our hands across that bent knee. Hands behind your back, either stay on the hands or behind your elbows, push that hip up. When you kiss me, oh, so sweet, you're the one. And bring it to center. Let's just sit cross legged and let's stretch out that back. So cross one arm on top of the other. 
You can either hold on at your hands or just on your shoulders. Good. Inhale, exhale the other side. So next, one arm goes on top and then you switch. Beautiful. Hands behind you. Interlace your fingers. Open up that chest. Big inhale. Great work, shake it out. That's the end of the workout. I hope you enjoyed this super set straight. Stay tuned, we've got a few more workouts before Christmas, guys. Earn up those points. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next workout.